The main reason people come to the island of Tanna is to see the volcano. The road out here is long and really bumpy, so hold on. But there are so many photo ops across this amazing terrain. When you get here, you only have a 10 minute walk up the track to the rim. It is steep though. It's a long way up. Mount Yasur has been active and exploding for at least 800 years. You'll see the dust of volcanic ash mixed with the blue vapour of the sulphur and the white of the steam vents. It's loud too, and at dusk, everything you've been listening to really comes to life as the molten lava is spewed out and rocks roll back down into the abyss. I could take photos of this all day long. You are literally standing on the edge of the core of the earth. It was such a privilege to visit this gorgeous woman, Annie, in her custom village. These guys are proudly protecting their traditional ways, shunning the spoils of the Western way of life and allowing visitors to come and experience them as they are. They're out there for us. The girls made us a snack of taro and maybe spinach leaves cooked over hot stones and served on leaf plates. Then it was time to visit the men. Chief Stephen explained a little about their lifestyle and why it's so important to them to retain their traditions. No matches to light fires here. And the girls had made shell necklaces and other souvenirs for us to buy before they farewelled us with a dance. We stopped at the Lingo Shopping Centre with its recognisable brands painted on the wall and met these guys who showed me this carver route, which will end up here later on, tonight, when the men of the village will gather to chew the fat. Out on Tanner is this enormous banyan tree, which is actually really hard to find. Even our footage can't do it justice as we walked around its 300-year-old girth, gazing up the Tarzan vines until we'd had enough of the beauty. Tanner Farms is run by a New Zealand couple with a local manager. Here they're making coconut oil, which they start by shredding it. Then they have to toast it so the milk evaporates and is put into a cold press to get the oil out. Totally pure and totally organic. They also grow peanuts, which are dug by hand. And I don't know if you've ever eaten a raw one before. It's like a mung bean. <laughs> Who would eat a mung bean of their own free will? They're much nicer toasted. And before we moved on, they cut up the freshest watermelon I've ever tasted. They're also famous for producing coffee here, so sit back and have a cup of the taste of tanner. Mm -hmm. 